I needed an on-road little car. I found this Porsche about a year ago. Started building it, uh, the DRZ 400 motor. Didn't like that direction. So I ended up with a KTM 450 motor out of a dirt bike. Uh, so electric start, six speed, it's pretty awesome. Built a chassis all from scratch. Got some really wide, low profile little tires. They're actually doing pretty well out here, even though it's built for street. Um, built my header myself uh, so that the exhaust could run through the whole car and come out where it's supposed to on the Porsche 911. And it does, which is pretty cool. And uh, here, I'll give you a... Oh. steering wheel is from a uh, Honda Odyssey actually exactly like you guys built uh, so I utilize the electric start uh, got a thumb throttle the clutch is operated here front brakes are operated here there's a rear brake pedal just like a go-kart so front and rear brakes are independent uh, and you shift with your left foot just like a motorcycle electric fuel pump uh, so it's always pumping fuel electric fan isn't working right now and seem to need it. Nice little fuel cell comes through the body, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, big old radiator hanging off this wing back here. So Craigslist, this is a wing probably from a tuner car, maybe a Honda Civic or something, and it was about that wide. Cut it down, trimmed it up to be ridiculous for this, but still appropriately sized. Uh, some other car parts are the chair sliders, so that. Not only can I at 6.3 fit in it, Crystal, the uh, racer of yesterday, also fits in it. We'll move it forward for her. We got a big long chain drive here with a pillow block to go to the rear axle. Threw a guard on there and it's pretty safe. Chain tensioners here to hold both of them with tension. And there's a little idler pulley in there. Um, it's got six gears and it goes pretty fast. Uh, <laughs> it's short and it's bouncy, <laughs> but it drifts really well like on dusty pavement. Uh, sand has been fun. Um, but it is beating us up with no suspension. It's a lot of fun and kind of wanted something to compete with the Barbie Mustang and the Barbie Jeep. So this is the first uh, Power Wheels build for me. I'm pretty happy with it so far. <laughs> yeah, it is awesome. Yeah, it's been it's been a riot. And you got uh, a couple little add-ons too, like you got the Porsche sticker there. <laughs> I like that. You got the grind hard sticker i'm biased but i really like that <laughs> and the fuel tank was such a good idea that is just awesome yeah i love that we actually we actually got it to come out of the body like kind of where it should go so it's just cool and yeah. fueling it up is easy instead of having to fight with something inside and it's on the right side for a euro car too exactly exactly these coolant hoses are really long <laughs> They go all the way up to the front and they're kind of laying against your leg in here a little bit. Those are, we're finding out that's a little hot, but only the top one. <laughs> yeah, and I like your trellis frame for your wing stand too. Yeah, that was a fun day in the shop. Uh, I've got a roller for half inch square tubing, so I just figured we'd make a couple arches and trellis it out, make it, make it cool. We may end up needing to make the frame stronger. Uh, after burnouts and wheelies and drifting all weekend, it keeps adjusting camber which i don't want it to do so we'll probably work on the frame maybe some suspension depends on how creative i get we'll see but uh, so far phase one she's handling it pretty good 
I still have headlights and things to add. Um, I have them, we just time crunch, but I'll have little red halo LED headlights in here. Got a bunch of red underglow, uh, so it'll all light up and look really cool in the dark. I also really like your bash bar too. It's just big and gnarly. It like adds a little bit of drift missile to the pretty Porsche. <laughs> yeah, also we won't foul up the body too bad if you do end up pumping into something yeah. like, you know, another car out here. Or something. Yeah, that both of our vehicles used to hit exhaust first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I did find out that pushing this backwards hurts. Uh, got my leg right on the header pipe. Uh, we might wrap it with exhaust wrap because it does run through there and it will run through the hood. Again, something we just didn't finish yet, but the hood will go on. It'll all get kind of buttoned up and finished. But for now, this is phase one. Got to shake it down, see what we need to do better or, or, or leave alone. So yeah. I really like your fitment too. The wheels and tires you found are just sweet. Everybody asks what these are and it's basically, it's a 10 inch ATV rim with a lot of offset which is unfortunately why I had to cut so much body, but it's okay. Um, but these are for like a little mini chopper. So it's just supposed to be a big fat, flat tire with a big rim for like mini bikes. And uh, I stretched them onto the quad rim. So it's got a little of that kind of stance or whatever. And we had to run these for, uh, one of these wasn't holding air and we were racing. So we had to put the drifty track tires on it. And, uh, they fit, so that was, that was good. Didn't ruin the weekend. And they work pretty good too, but out here it's it's fun. There's just no traction at all, and it just spins and slides and bounces and yeah, <laughs> so much fun. So much fun, like more fun than you should be having in a power wheel. <laughs> That's kind of the point. So <laughs> yeah. Well, where can people find you on YouTube? Because they'll love the Porsche and the trike. Uh, Hessek Moto is my channel. It's new. There's a couple videos, but uh, hopefully we'll make some more and showcase some more some more builds. We've got two more uh, little power wheels to build. Uh, so check it out. Check it out. <laughs>